Hello again, everybody. I'm um, going to do a quick video here of how to repair an Atari 5200 power supply. <clears throat> Got a 5200, uh, fairly cheap, off Craigslist. Uh, the gentleman said didn't work. And as you can see through my other videos doing me, I tear stuff apart to see how to fix it. So that's what I did here. Um, checking, realized that there was no power coming out of this power supply. So I'll explain to you what I did. I broke it open, um, probably not the correct way because I didn't have the correct tools to do it, but just used a uh, screwdriver, pried it open. Um, inside here was this fusible link. It was actually soldered to the board. Uh, this fusible link was blown. So what I did is I desoldered this from the board. I soldered two leads on the board. One there and one there. Ran those leads along the inside here. I drilled a hole on the other side here. Having those leads come out. <clears throat> and I bought an inline fuse link that you can get at any auto parts store or hardware store. Um, put a five volt fuse in it, or correction, five amp fuse in it. Don't ever put any more than a five amp fuse in here. Because if you do, chances are you're gonna fry something. The reason why these things blow is this little device here. Why Atari decided to make this on the 5200, I have no idea. But what most people do is they connect power to this box, plug it in, and then they decide to plug their gaming system into here. Well, if you've ever seen one of these, they'll create pretty little sparks and, and shocks, or whatever you want to call it. Well, that has to go somewhere, and it usually ends up blowing the fuse out inside these power supplies. Why Atari made these, I have no idea. The first system came out, the Atari 5200, There's a, it's a four port gaming system. In other words, you can plug four controllers in the, the front part of it. Requires this, this converter here. The 5200 later that came out that only has two gaming ports on the front, didn't require this little converter. So it's really simple what to do. Break it open, solder one lead to one one side here, another lead to this side here, and again run them out along here connecting one side here, one side here, and putting an inline fuse to, uh, to it. That way after you glue this back together, epoxy it back together, however you decide to put this together, I will probably epoxy this one back together. If that fuse would ever happen to blow again, really simple. Pull the fuse out here. You don't have to break this open again. Why, again, they did this, I have no idea. But if anybody has an Atari 5200 out there that won't power up, this is something to definitely check. It could easily be this power supply. And instead of trying to find one online for $20 or $30, buy yourself a $2 fuse holder and spend some time and fix it. It's really not that difficult. If you guys had any questions or comments, please post below. I'll be happy to help anybody out. Thanks.